Hey, what's happening everyone? Welcome back to Mel's Beyond Garage. Follow me along this time as I install a light kit in my 2002 club car. LED headlights, parking lights, turn signals, brake lights, got conduit and relays and it's the entire kit. So never done one before. RTFM, read the FM manual and I should be fine with it, but it'll give me like nice vehicle style lights, turn signals, brake lights and whatnot like that. And Get all squared away, especially if we're driving around on a mountain in the dark. After a bit of unboxing, you can see the turn signal stalk. Got headlights, horn, uh, light controller, some conduit here. I'm guessing this has got something to do with the brakes. We'll see. I got to read the instructions. A nice harness with looks like ballast and plugs. Gave us zip ties and screws, LED tail and turns, LED headlights, parking lights, and instructions, a couple pages of instruction, and also templates to cut out the body. So you definitely want to get that squared away so you're not like hacking it out and it looks terrible. The kit looks fairly all-inclusive, so let me read the instructions and go on ahead through and see what I need to do to put these lights in that golf cart. Go on ahead and do yourself a favor and use the templates that they give us. So we're going to want to go on ahead and cut that out, follow the instructions, cut out along the dotted line, then you cut the center out, that's where the light goes. I did the headlight one here. You can see it says right side turn over for left. I taped her up, gave some sharpie marks, and all I'm going to do is drill some pilot holes and use my body saw and cut it out. One light is mounted. I can tell you I do not like the screws. I may find some stainless, stainless screws. Included with the kit are some not quite black oxide, but they're like countersink screws and those lights don't have countersink holes in them. If you ask me, they should have been pan head or something, but it is what it is for now. I'll, I'll mount it in. Hopefully by the end of this video, I'll locate some stainless screws. But I am going to cut this hole in. Repeat it the other side. Template, four holes, air saw. And then you just got to finagle it and trim the fit. I'm going to save you the pain of watching the video for that. Both headlights are now in. I've got to put the light controller box up under there. You guys can see the on, like brights. Right, horns, those are the four ways. Those lights will be for the LED light bar and everything that I already have. I put LED or blue LED lights in the gauges. I've got to get up under it. Chaco. Chaco. So I've got this giant wire harness I have to run. Don't mind my pit bull in a horn. This is gonna span a good week because I only have a little bit of time. Check out. What are you doing? Come here. Come on, Chaco. Chaco. Crazy ass dog. With the front headlights and parking lights installed, as you can kind of see there a little bit, hopefully, I got the camera angle correct. I have the steering column switch mounted with the conduit. 
the harness is laying on the floor. My intent is to not put the wires on the battery terminals like the kit suggests because that's fine. I mean, it's add-on, but I have got plenty of open fuse spots right there. So I'm going to tie it into the OEM fuse block. But what I am going to do is take these taillights and cut some holes in the body back there, mount those taillights. It is 620. I got to get up at 330. So I'll probably just get these mounted and maybe zip tie the front. But unbeknownst to me, I didn't realize it. These headlights are halos. So let me hog that hole in the body. Again, you guys saw me do just this one, but all the other ones are mirror images of one another. Get the template, drill yourself four holes, get yourself a saw of some sort, cut it out, and then you just keep creeping up on it. You can go, you know, full wild and then and, and like hog it out completely and get all jacked up. But I like to make it a little bit smaller and creep up on it so it just fits in there and fits in there nice and tight. And that's what I want to do to the rear. Tail lights are installed. But they're only man in a body. So all the club cars, why they are kind of sought after, it appears, they have aluminum, aluminum chassis. So I need to drill a big giant hole, not a big giant hole, but a large enough hole next to the OEM <clears throat> wire harness to feed my headlight harness up and through, get it up along here and run it along the top of the rail and it'll follow the top of the rail along the back of the body to tie into the tail lights. Kind of a pain in the butt. I am the only one filming. So the fact that I am the only one filming, I can't show you where I'm going. Though I can, I'll pull some video here in a, in a couple minutes. When it's all said and done, you know, magic of video editing. It'll go through like a cross member and then I'll be able to jump it up and go where it needs to go. I mean, you can quickly zip tie it up under the frame rail if that's what you choose to do. Problem is, is I just don't want a wire harness tied into a generator that's $200 and a battery to be in the lowest point. Even though it's fused and protected, I still just, it's just not what I want to do. Again, all these videos are not meant to be step-by-step -step instructional. Just kind of follow along, maybe, or just see what I'm doing. But. Light kit was 209 bucks. Uh, okay instructions. <laughs> Have some mechanical aptitude and figure it out, I suppose. That's that's kind of where that's kind of where I was with it. So we'll get it in there and get it all done. And these guys will see here. It's gonna look really good. Two months later. The lights are all installed. Now I'm not gonna lie, it's been probably a good two months since I finished up the lights, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys how they turn out. Uh, Walter, the go golf cart's a little dirty, but we'll go on ahead and send it. There you can see, nice and dirty. I never got them stainless pan head screws I talked about in the beginning of the video. And those rusty screws are the reason why I wanted to do it. So I will change those up. I did purchase them, I just haven't put them in yet. You can see the steering wheel controls, stock. I've already had that light bar up there. You look on the controls here, you can see like, uh, sorry, it's getting all fuzzy. Son of a bitch. Horn. Hold the seat up. There's our parking lights. Turn the ignition on. There's left, there's right. Obviously brake lights are the same, don't need to show them to you. Pretty doggone bright, and they're the headlights. They do have high beams. Turn off the headlights and let the running lights, and you can see the halos. Those ambers aren't running lights, they are just turns also. I'll put the four ways on so you can see them flashing. All in all, the kit was not difficult to install. I totally liked it. So yeah, that's the gist of it. Take your time, use the instructions, use the templates. I use an air saw 
and obviously the drill and whatnot, I'm sure you can do it with a handsaw or a Dremel or whatever you might, even an oscillating tool, whatever you might have hanging around. The most difficult part, I want to say, was just I added a hole through the frame rail, a cross member, to feed the wire harness through, just because I didn't want it hanging low. The kit was on Amazon. If I remember, if I could find it, I'll try and put a link in the description below where I got it. I want to say it was a hundred some bucks, but it came with the horn, park and turn, brakes. There's a uh, pressure sensitive pad that you screw to the brake pedal. And it's an earlier cart, so some of the later carts that already had brakes and stuff like that in it. So thank you for watching. Check out some of my other golf cart videos. I've got the engine rebuild coming up soon. Uh, I did some troubleshooting on another one for the generator starter if you're having issues with that. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, leave me some comments, good or bad, suggestions, anything you want. Appreciate it. Thanks for checking out Mel's Mountain Garage.